Former Tennessee Titans and Philadelphia Eagles safety Kevin Byard has agreed to a deal with the Chicago Bears and Ryan Poles has done it once again. According to Adam Schefter, it is a two-year deal and in this video, we're going to break down why Kevin Byard is an absolute get for the Chicago Bears and why this pairing with, you know, Jalen Johnson, the re-signing, right? And then you talk about what they're going to do in the draft as well with the number one pick, Caleb Williams, the number nine pick, moving Justin Fields. This Chicago Bears team is about to take a major jump up next season. And I'm about to explain to you guys why Kevin Byard is about to be a massive addition. Now, here we go. This is the first play I want to show you guys in this film breakdown. This is versus the best quarterback in football, which is the main reason I wanted to show you this, his lone pick of the season. Now, what we're going to see here is him as the lone deep safety. His job is to read the quarterback's eyes and kind of try to bait him into throwing a bad pass. So here, what we're going to see, and actually, let me slow it down for you guys just a little bit so you can kind of see this play work out. Now, this isn't in the All Coaches 22 film. Um, I might have it a little bit later in the video but here we go Mahomes drops back in the pocket looking for something on the right side of the field trying to get a crosser now Kevin Byer does a good job not over committing so usually when you're playing this deep safety role your eye or your job is to read the quarterback size now when Pat Mahomes quickly looks left usually this deep safety will kind of bite down on that however in this scenario he stays over the middle of the field allows Pat Mahomes to adjust his eyes and now he thinks over the middle I'm going to take a shot into the end zone lofts one up there and Kevin Kevin Byard does an unbelievable job jumping the route and picking off Pat Mahomes here in the back of the end zone. Now, they show up from another angle as, as well right here. Just lofts it up there, right? Thinking his guy is open. But at the end of the day, Kevin Byard comes over here and gets a beautiful interception. Now, ever since 2017, Kevin Byard has been an absolute game changer throughout his career right Tennessee the Eagles was pretty good as well but all multiple all pro selections a couple of pro bowl appearances as well while also leading every safety in the NFL with a total of 28 interceptions including the playoffs over that span guys the Bears just got a playmaker with Kevin Byard now, listen to this, guys. Since 2020, there are only four players in, in the NFL with over 245 tackles, 25 passes defended, and 10-plus interceptions. Who are they? Well, obviously, one of them, Kevin Byard. Another one, Minka Fitzpatrick, Justin Simmons, and Harrison Smith. Some of the most elite DBs in our game today, and Kevin Byard is one of them. Ryan Poles, I don't know how he continues to do it, but he is just finding these intense guys like a Kevin Byard, a playmaker who has been, you know, severely underrated throughout his career and now ends up in Chicago, the best sports towns in America. Now, during the middle of the season in 2023, uh, this past season, he was traded to the Philadelphia Eagles from the Tennessee Titans, where in 10 games for Philadelphia, stacked up 75 tackles, 50 of those were solo, also brought in one interception, as well as three pass deflections as well. Now, listen, not the best year in terms of getting those interceptions, right? But you look back to 2022, he had four interceptions. You look back to 2021, five interceptions, 2019, five, 2018, four, 2017, eight interceptions. This man knows how to create turnovers. And that's the one thing you're getting here in Kevin Byard. And you know, when you look at this Bears secondary, I mean, listen, Jalen Johnson coming back on the contract is huge. They have a bunch of young, talented guys and, and Kyler Gordon and whatnot. But Kevin Byard adds a sense of you know, a veteran presence, a locker room leader, right? You've let go of Eddie Jackson, but also you look at their defense this year. They had the best defense in terms of interception percentage, right? Think about it, guys. They just got another ball hawk here in Kevin Byard. Unbelievable job by Ryan Poles. Now, I also wanted to show you this graphic. Now, this is from PFF. Just look at the gradings. Now, we're going to look at Kevin Byard's right here. You're looking at Kevin Byard's from 2023. What you want to see is the blue and the green. That just goes to show how good of a player he really was stacked up against the rest of the league, right? So, obviously, we're seeing nothing but green. His defensive rating, 74, right? Tackle, 91. Coverage, 70. This, These are all amazing numbers, right? 
But then, what I want to show you guys is when we carry on to what Eddie Jackson was doing, and don't get me wrong, Eddie Jackson is a very solid player, but you look at the yellow and the reds, right? There's some green here and there, like in 2022, he had a great year in terms of his defensive rating, his tackling, his coverage, right? He looked good there, but none of it compares to what this man, Kevin Byard, was doing throughout his career, especially in 2023. It's not even close. Now guys, before we get any further into this video, do me a big favor, hit that like button if you like this signing. This is huge, two-year deal, right? It's not a four-year massive deal. It's only two years. Perfect, fine, love it. Hit the like button if you actually enjoyed this signing. And also, give me down a letter grade in the comment section down below. What do you give this, this signing? I'm gonna give it an A+. Plus. No, I, you know what? I'm gonna give it an A, an A. Also, subscribe if you're new. It is free. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. And we're going to be covering the Chicago Bears for the rest of the offseason, including free agency, any trades that take place, the drafts, anything that happens, I got you guys covered. So join the family. Leave your grade down below. Hit the like button. But let's get right back into the video. Now, another reason I actually really like this deal for Kevin Byard and especially the Bears, right? It's a short-term deal. Doesn't time down for too much money. Uh, you know, he is coming off a somewhat down year, but I would still say he was pretty productive for the most part. But the main reason this is going to be huge is you add him to one of the best, you know, playmaking defense in football. They're young, right? But also, he's a veteran. A guy that can help out Jaquan Brisker develop a little bit, right? You keep him alongside Jalen Johnson. You bring him a, a alongside Kyler Gordon and some of the other guys they have in Chicago. I mean, the number one thing I love about this is the fact that he can come over here and help these younger guys develop. And when you look at their roster, they are filled with younger talent, man. They have so many young guys trying to get better, trying to improve. And I think Kevin Byard helps a lot, man. Tyreek Stevenson, uh, Jaquan Brisker, Terrell Smith, um, Kyler Gordon, like we said, I mean, there's so many young guys that need the help that need the development. And I think right now, Kevin Byard offers a ton of exactly that. Now, with that being said, guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what is the biggest position of need for the Chicago Bears going forward? I mean, we have a lot of free agency left. We have the whole entire NFL draft. Looks like Caleb Williams will be on his way to Chicago. And it looks like Justin Fields will be headed out. So with that being said, what do the Bears need to do from here? It looks like Yannick Ngakwe could be going elsewhere. Rasheem Green could be going elsewhere as well, leaving a little bit of a hole in that edge rusher position, that, that D end, right? You have Montez Sweat over here already. We love TJ Edwards and Jack Sanborn, Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, the secondary just got a lot better here as well. The offensive, uh, you know, wide receiver room, right? Darnell Mooney. Do we do we bring back Darnell Mooney or do we let him walk in France? I think there's a lot of big question marks right now going ahead for the Chicago Bears, and but let me know in the comments down below what should they do next. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, join the family, man. What a pickup here for the Chicago Bears. Nice little two-year deal. I'm telling you right now, man, Ryan Poles is making moves, and he's doing it at a high level. Shout out to the Bears. Let's keep it pushing.